amazing modern temple architecture around the world. Hello folks! How are you? Earlier last week we bought you a video called, Most Amazing Modern Temple Architecture Around the World. But we felt we were missing out on some of the important temples on that list. So, here we are, with part 2 of Most Amazing Temple Architecture Around the World. But before we move forward, if you are watching this channel for the first time, then subscribe to the channel for more such factual videos. Also, hit the bell icon so that you get a notification whenever we upload a new video. 1. Akshardham Temple, New Delhi According to Swaminarayan Hinduism, the abode of the Lord is what the word Akshardham means. It shows the holiness of the place where people worship the divine and seek their blessings. The Holy Land is a place where God was supposed to have lived. In addition to being a temple, the Swaminarayan Akshardham complex in Delhi is also a cultural and spiritual campus where various kinds of activities and exhibitions related to Hindu religion and harmony are organized. The god of the Akshardham temple is Bhagavan Swaminarayan. Great saints, devas, and averts of Hindu gods are also dedicated to it. The Akshardham Mandir is where the idols of Bhagavan Swaminarayan and his successors are located. There are statues of Hindu gods and goddesses. They include Lord Krishna and Goddess Radha, Lord Rama and Goddess Sita, Goddess Lakshmi and God Narayana, Lord Shiva and Devi Parvati. The temple is located on the banks of the Yamuna River and was opened to the public in 2005. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam inaugurated this temple. Akshardham presents the traditional architecture of Hindu temples as it is built according to Vasta Shastra and Pancharatra Shastra. 2. Manamo Temple, Hong Kong Manamo Temple is located on Hollywood Road in Shangwan, between trendy restaurants and old-school Chinese antique shops, and is one of Hong Kong's most famous urban temples. It's an excellent example of Qing Dynasty architecture with its double-eave, green-tiled rooftop, and courtyard layout. Records date the building to 1847 AD, based on an inscription found on a bell in the temple hall, but it is not certain when the temple was built. There are several Man M.O. temples in Hong Kong, all following the same principles, but the Hollywood Road one is the most impressive. 3. Sanctuary of Truth The Sanctuary of Truth is a magnificent structure of wood, located at the Rakvate Cape, of Naklaopataya City. This is a truly stunning example of the art and philosophy of good in action. This place is considered to be the world's largest and most astonishing woodcarving structure. The architecture of this museum is a blend of the temple and palace that was built by King Rama the Nine. The best of Thai craftsmanship can be found in this museum. The intricately carved elephants, people, scenes, creatures, and mythical deities are a stunning view to enjoy. The carvings are a tribute to the ancient vision of Earth, as well as the ancient knowledge and Eastern philosophy that is embraced at every corner of the monument. The old parts of the museum's wooden carvings have begun to degrade, due to the effects of weather and climate, and this building has a strong vision of human existence. The construction of this museum has always been a never-ending process, that began in 1981. This 105-meter tall building is more than just a place that reflects a beautiful blend of cultures and traditions, but also organizes tours in multiple languages for the visitors to understand better. The Thai dance performances are one of the highlights of this museum. 4. St. Basil's Cathedral, Moscow, Russia St. Basil's Cathedral in Moscow, Russia, was built in the mid-1500s by Ivan the Terrible. It is believed that the cathedral's builder was blinded by the beauty of the structure so that it could never be built again. Its distinctive appearance can be attributed to the domes and red brick towers. The domes in the cathedral are a symbol of the assault on the city of Kazan. Strong religious meanings can be found in the design of the cathedral, which draws inspiration from architectural designs found in Jerusalem. There are eight domes surrounding the ninth dome that appear to form a star when viewed from the top. Compared to its exterior, the interior of St. Basil's Cathedral has moderate decorations and narrow corridors. The cathedral has suffered damage due to fires, looting, and other incidents on several occasions throughout its history. In one legend, the French ruler Napoleon even wanted to take St. Basil's Cathedral back to France with him. As this was not feasible, he instead ordered his army to destroy it so that no one else could occupy it. His army had prepared for an attack and lit up the gunpowder, 
but a mysterious rain shower prevented any explosions from occurring. 5. Halgrim Skirkja, Reykjavik, Iceland It took 40 years to build the concrete structure which was finished in 1986. The tower was renovated in 2009. The basalt columns around the waterfall are similar to the basalt lava flows found in the natural landscape of the country. The church was designed in 1937 by the architect, Gudjan Samuelsson. Samuelsson used Icelandic nature as inspiration. The German organ builder, Johannes Claes, designed and built the gargantuan pipe organ for the church. The organ weighs over 25 tons. It is 15 meters tall. The organ is powered by four manual typewriters, a pedal, 102 ranks, 72 stops, and 5,275 pipes. The church has a huge space and the organ is capable of filling it. Halgrim Skirtja is a Lutheran church and is named after a 17th century hymn writer. Services take place every Sunday. The church is an ideal venue for classical music concerts because of its wonderful acoustics and huge pipe organ. There is a statue of the Icelandic Viking in front of the biggest church in the country. Around 1000 AD, he was the first European to set foot in North America. It is thought that Leifer found North America 500 years before Christopher Columbus. On the 1000th anniversary of the founding of the Althing Parliament in 1930, the United States gave the statue as a gift. Now that you have come halfway to this video, Hit the like button if you have liked it so far, also subscribe to the channel, and press the bell icon. So you don't miss out on any videos. 6. Notre Dame Basilica, Montreal, Canada Notre Dame Basilica of Montreal is a testament to the importance of religion and art throughout the city's history, growing from a humble stone church in the 17th century to a minor basilica to welcome some 8,000 parishioners. It is a masterpiece of Gothic revival architecture and a jewel of Quebec's religious heritage. The site of national historic significance was built between 1824 and 1829 and features dual towers reminiscent of Notre Dame de Paris. The East Tower has a carillon of 10 bells while the West Tower has the famous 10, 900, kilogram Jean-Baptiste bell. Three large statues of St. Joseph, the Virgin Mary, and St. Jean-Baptiste stand guard over the entrance to this religious sanctuary that welcomes millions of visitors each year. The basilica is a sight to behold, with its blue colors, shimmering gold leaf ornamentation, intricate woodwork, religious paintings, and colorful stained glass windows depicting over 350 years of parish history designed by Quebec artist, Jean-Baptiste Lagachi. The interior decoration was designed by Victor Bourgeau, an architect from Montreal. The Cassavant organ's incredible acoustics are only matched by the beauty of the surrounding areas. 7. Church of the Transfiguration, Kesey Island, Russia Transfiguration Church is a visionary wooden wonder with an octagonal frame and 22 domes built in 1714, a legend has it, without a single nail. It's open to tourists for the first time in 40 years, after an extensive and sometimes contentious restoration. Located on an island in Lake Onega, about 60 kilometers northeast of the city of Petrozavodsk, the capital of the Karelian Republic, the Russian Orthodox Church is part of an ensemble of other wooded buildings known as Kizhi Pogost. The nine-domed Church of the Intercession and a bell tower is part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Craftsmen used ancient and somewhat mysterious traditions of wooden construction to build the 37-meter-tall Church of the Transfiguration. It was in a bad condition for a long time, and specialists and bureaucrats sometimes fought over restoration plans because of its unique architecture. There were many commissions and consultations with international experts during the process. 8. Duomo di Milano, Italy One of the most famous buildings and complexes in the world is the Cathedral of Milan, which is dedicated to Santa Maria Nascent and is a mixture of late Gothic French Gothic and Renaissance. The project was started in 1386 by the Duke of Milan and the Archbishop of Milan, who wanted to give the city a religious monument that was worthy of its importance. The product of several ingenious and creative artists of design and construction was passed through the hands of different architects until it was completed in 1886. The architect Simon Arsenigo is credited with the first design, but the technical direction has changed many times since its inception. Bonaventura was created by Simon de Arsenigo Nicolo, who was followed by many other architects such as John Solaro, Marco de Corona, and others. 
We can't forget the work Fillerite did alongside Leonardo da Vinci who was interested in the construction of the Duomo. They offered different opinions and advice. Despite the generations, the final details of the work that was completed in the 20th century are not carved statues. 9. La Sagrada Familia, Barcelona, Spain The Temple Expiatory, de la Sagrada Familia, also known as the Temple of the Holy Family, is considered to be the symbol of Barcelona by many residents, and the one place you should not miss when you visit the Catalan capital. The church was originally intended to be a simple Roman Catholic church dedicated to Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, but eventually became the most prominent example of Catalan modernism. It was declared a basilica by Pope Benedict in 2010. The basilica was designed by Antoni God, who believes that nature is the work of God. God wanted to combine Christian speech and biblical allegories with complex natural symbols like organic, geometric shapes which are prominent in every column, pinnacle, and stained glass window of the basilica. Despite being incomplete and under construction for nearly 140 years, the masterpiece has become one of the most visited monuments in Spain, with over 4 million visitors in 2019. And that's it for the day. Which one of these amazed you the most? Tell us in the comments. Stay tuned with facts, folks, and fun for more such content. Also, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any videos. Do share the video with your friends.